Hello, this is Bashar. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can send email from a Spring Boot application. As usual, we have this repository and this is the initial version and the things we are going to do in this tutorial is here in this final send mail branch. I've already cloned this repository and it is opened right here in the VS Code. And currently I'm on the main branch and here we see the final send email branch, but we will continue on this branch and we will do our implementation. First, let's go over the project structure. Here in POMXML, we have the Spring Boot version 2.4.3, running Java version 11, and we have the dependency of Spring Boot starter mail. We will use this dependency for the mail client. And we have this web dependency. We are going to trigger this uh, email to be sent uh, after a REST call. And the others are for the development. And if we check the project, we have nothing but this main class. And this is just a basic Spring Boot application. Now let's start our implementation. Let's start with a new folder here. Let's call this one as configuration. And in this configuration, let's create a file. Let's call this one mail configuration. Now let's use the annotation of configuration here. In this class, we are going to create the Java mail sender, which is our client for sending requests. So here we will create this bean. This bean is Java mail sender create mail sender and we are going to return the java mail sender let's initialize an instance this java mail sender is an interface and there is an implementation coming with the dependency we are using and that is java mail sender implementation let's initialize that one and we are going to return mail sender. But before that, we need to do some configuration here. First of all, we need an email server. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use this Ethereal. Uh, this is just a fake SMTP server. Uh, we can create accounts here. The mails are not really going anywhere, but from our application point of view, we are sending the email to a to an SMTP server working on the internet. So let's create an account here. Here it is creating account, creating credentials, and it is showing how we can use it in the Node.js or the PHP, but we are going to use it in our Java application. So we need these credentials. This is the host, this is the port, and there is this security, and there is this username and password. So just copying this part, this is the host. Let's set for our mail sender, mail sender set host as this one. And we are going to set port that is 587 for SMTP and we are going to use our username which is this one just copying it from here pasting here and mail sender set password and that one is right here now our mail sender is configured. Let's add a REST controller here. Let's call this one as email controller. We are going to get REST request to this endpoint and let's say this is going to be a GET request for this send-email. And let's just return back a string for our REST request, send email. Now we are going to send an email and we will use Java mail sender. 
So this instance we created here will be injected here and we will be sending our request with this Java mail sender methods. First of all, we will be creating a mail message and for that we can use simple mail message. Let's say this is a message, simple mail message. In this message, we can set the, the fields like from to the CC, BCC or the, all necessary fields for any email request. Uh, so for the from part, let's type anything we want. For me, I'm just typing this is from bash, bashar at mail.com and let's set the to as Let's send this request to user1 at mail.com. These are not really the mail servers. These are just names I'm just make, making up. So these mails are not really going to be delivered to anywhere. It's just going to be hitting to our server here, this Ethereal. It's going to be capturing the message and we will be able to see the message in the inbox right here. Currently we have this uh, this info mail uh, but later we will see our own request to be generating mails in there. So we just set the from and to. Let's set the message set subject subject of message and message set text. This is the mail content. And all we will do is just call Java mail sender send and we will pass this message as an as a parameter to this one. And let's return the rest response. Let's say this is done. So we have our mail client. We are configuring it right here and we will be sending a get request to this endpoint and that is going to be triggering this mail to be sent uh, via our mail sender client. Let's run the application. So opening the browser, let's, let's open a new tab and we are going to send email to localhost 8080 forward slash send email. So hitting enter. So it is taking a couple of seconds and we are receiving this error. It is saying the authentication is failed. Must issue start TLS. So we are seeing this exception and also we see the same exception here in the console. When configuring our client, we can set properties for it. So we can do it like this. Uh, we can get the mail sender get properties at Java mail properties. This is a properties object. And we can set props. This is like a map and we can set key values to it. And one of the key is um, mail.debug and we can set it to true. So let's save this one and let's debug why the failure is occurring. So the application is restarted, sending this request once again, receiving the same error and if we check the logs right here, here we are seeing the logs of the the Java mail sender and it's also saying the authentication of login is failed. Now to fix this we will set another configuration and that configuration is props put. We will set mail smtp.out property to true and we will also set props put mail smtp start tls enable to 
true. So let's save this one again. Application is restarted. Going back to browser, refreshing this one. Now we receive this done. So the mail is sent. And if we check right here, refreshing the page with the messages. And here we are seeing there is a message to this user, user1. And we have the subject of message. This is the, the message we are creating right here. And if we open this one, here we can see it is coming from this user and this is the content. So basically that's how we can send an email from a Spring Boot application. We can enhance this part. We can send payloads for the, the to and the subject or the text in a post request and we can generate the message like that and send to the, to the target. Uh, also, we can use, instead of this SMTP Ethereal, we can use the Gmail and uh, we can use the Gmail credentials right here. But for that one, you need to, to make sure to allow your account to be accessed via third party libraries, third party applications. Uh, otherwise, it's blocked by Gmail. So uh, if you are going to use a Gmail account for this operation, then uh, make sure to, to update your account configuration. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next tutorials.